Hello, this is Eric Bobro, and in this ARCHICAD video tutorial, I'll be taking a look at the new guideline features in ARCHICAD 15. They're extremely powerful, but they can be somewhat confusing, particularly if you're just coming from ARCHICAD 14 or earlier. Here I have a few walls drawn to illustrate some of the typical new actions that you do with guidelines. I'm going to go to the Wall tool, and first of all, if I draw a wall, just uh, a single wall, let's say, and uh, I'm near the uh, axis, then you'll see a guideline show up, just like we have before. You'll see the little X showing that I'm on the X axis, which is pretty obvious in this view, but if we had rotated the canvas, um, the view, then that actually might be very useful information. And we'll see other ones like 45, and of course here going up with the, the Y. So, so far that actually is very similar, just a little bit more information um, available compared to what uh, we had before. Now, if I'd like to line something up with um, a uh, another element, the edge, when I position myself over the edge, in previous versions it would show a dashed blue guideline, and then if you were to move your mouse slightly horizontally or along that line, it would become an orange lasting guideline. But that's not happening here. What you'll notice in ARCHICAD 15 is that there's this orange dot that, when I click on it, will make the guideline show up. So the guideline is still available when you go over the edge. You just have to click on that orange dot to make it work. So now I can, of course, draw a line along in line with the other wall. Now, if I'm taking a, a wall going down and I'd like to make it a stop in line with another element, then I can do something similar. I can position my mouse over the edge of it, see the orange ball or dot, and click, and that gives me the guideline, and then I can go find, you know, for example, the perpendicular snap. Um, so that's all pretty uh, easy and, and works nicely. Now let me uh, just undo these last few steps and show you where it gets a little bit more tricky. So first of all, I'll just draw um, one out in space here, but parallel to the bottom there. And then I'm going to draw in a separate wall. I'd like to draw this up. Now I'd like to take it in line with this point here. Now what you'll notice is that when I hover over this point here, there's no guidelines that show up. And I can't actually go along an edge to get the orange dot because there is no edge in line with the um, angle that I want. I want to go horizontally. Now the solution here is actually quite simple once you're shown you press down the mouse right at that point, as if you were going to finish the wall there, but you don't let go of the mouse button. You press down and hold. And while I'm holding it down, I move it in a direction. And you notice as I move it, it will propose different blue guidelines here. Now, when I let go on one of them, in this case the horizontal one, it becomes an orange lasting guideline. So that's actually pretty easy once you understand it. I'll just go ahead and get the perpendicular snap um, there. I'll demonstrate it again. I'm going to click to start this wall, and I want to take it in line with the bottom left, so I'm doing a, a, a rectangular box, but in several steps. So I'll go over the edge of the corner of this point, and instead of just clicking and releasing, or moving without pressing the mouse button, I'll press the mouse button down and gesture up. Now you see the dashed blue line shows as I have my mouse button held down. When I let go of the mouse button, it will then say, oh, okay, that's the line that you want to have as a guideline. And then, of course, I can finish it. And I'll do the fourth wall, just normally snapping. So let's take a look at a slightly more complicated situation. I'd like to start a wall, say, in line with this point and in line with this edge. Now, it's easy enough to go get a guideline from this edge here, but when I want to start it from this point, I don't get a guideline. There's no guideline that automatically shows up. I need to use a new command in ARCHICAD 15 that's called Force Guideline Display. Now it has a keyboard shortcut that I'm going to use that you'll need to customize if you're on the Mac, and I'll explain that in a minute. When I use that keyboard shortcut, press down the key, it then will allow me to move from the point that I started and click on in any direction to define a guideline. So you see how it's proposing different blue ones. I click and that defines it. So now I can easily go and start the wall along here. And of course, if I want to line it up here, I can press down and start to move up. 
while the mouse button is held down and let go to confirm the guideline that I'd like to snap to. So uh, that uh, uh, keyboard shortcut um, is something that uh, you will need to customize if you're on the Mac because when we look at the options work environment keyboard shortcuts and uh, take a look at what the keyboard shortcut is by going to all commands in alphabetical order and then I scroll down to force guideline display the keyboard shortcut on Windows is the back accent key which is just underneath the escape key and that works very nicely but on the Mac for some reason Graphisoft said it to be the section marker in Microsoft Word you can get that this special character by holding down the option key and typing a six but if you do that in ARCHICAD to try to do it as a keyboard shortcut it won't work because the option key brings up the eyedropper you can try it and you'll get a beep from ARCHICAD so what you need to do is actually go and select this um, in the keyboard shortcuts tell it that you'd like to have a shortcut I'll type in that back accent and say assign it and you can see that's how I ended up with this shortcut which matches the one on the Windows side so I'll say OK. So that's the keyboard shortcut you would use. Now I'll um, undo the last wall and I'll go put in um, a box of walls. Now when I put in the box of walls, I can start this in the same sort of way. For example, I'd like to start it up in the upper right corner here in line with this edge there and in line with this point. And I'll use that back accent keyboard shortcut to say I'd like to select a guideline from this point, click on it, now I can start the box. Now I'd like to make it in line with this edge here so I'll just go along the edge and pick the orange ball to get a snap and I'd like to take it in line with this point. Now unfortunately that force guideline display does not work in this context. If I try to type that key you can see that it's showing a guideline from the upper right corner which is my starting point and even if I gesture to the right or do anything else it's only showing me guidelines from that particular corner. So I'm going to hit the escape key, which will cancel the guideline um, selection, which I was just starting to do. And instead, I'll use a different approach. I'm going to go to the right next to the guideline um, icon in the toolbar. I'll use the pull down menu to say create guideline segment. And this one allows me to go and in the middle of an operation or before an operation, I can go click to define a guideline. Now I'd like to take it in line with this. You notice that there's no snap. I can't snap it to make it horizontal, but I can use the shift key. And when I use the shift key, it'll jump to being straight. So I simply draw a guideline that goes far enough from this point. And now I have a snap, let's say that intersection snap of where those two guidelines will intersect. So I've got a box beautifully positioned. So again, I use the force guideline display to get the first one, but then I created a separate little guideline um, to snap to here. And we can use the snap gu these uh, guidelines uh, as well for other things. Uh, it's a very powerful technique. I can go here and say create a guideline segment and say I'd like to go down a certain distance, or let's say six feet, to create enough space for a corridor, two meters. Um, now I can use a keyboard shortcut. I've set up control back quote or back accent um, for uh, for this uh, purpose um, and uh, you'll see that um, when I uh, gesture here I can type in that I'd like it to be six feet as well so whether you go up to the um, toolbar and pull it down or use a keyboard shortcut you can then generate these snap points and it makes it very simple to create in this case uh, the precise geometry that I need now you can use this guideline segment for other things uh, such as placing windows or other openings a certain distance away from each other. There are many ways to do that, but this is a, a very nice uh, approach that will become second nature once you use it. So let me switch to the window tool. Now before I do that, I'll just uh, say I'd like to put this window in halfway. Now you'll notice that depending upon where I place my cursor, that orange dot may be very close to the, um, the halfway point. So uh, here it's actually overlapping it and I can't even click on uh, the tick mark that gave, would give me the halfway mark. Um, so I need to move away and let's say position myself on a different part of the wall. Then I can go and get that tick mark and put the window in let's say at the halfway uh, mark. 
So um, that is a little tip. If the orange ball gets in the way of your clicking to select or insert or draw something, then you may need to either move your mouse to a different part of the edge, for example, where the ball will show up in a different place, or even zoom in and out, and I've seen the ball move around nicely. Uh, now, if I wanted to put in another window a certain distance away from this one, uh, you know, there are different ways to do that, but one easy way that I've started to use a lot is to create the guideline segment. And remember, I have a keyboard shortcut for it, so I can use that. But I simply go along and say, I'd like this to be a certain distance, so let's say 12 feet or 4 meters over, and I type that in, hit the Enter or Return key, and then hit Enter or Return again. And that actually clicks exactly where the cursor was and will place um, the window that distance away. Now you may know that I could drag a copy of the window 12 feet away and that would be give me the same result. But we can use this for other types of situations. For example, I'd like to put in a window that's a, a different size. Perhaps it's only 3 feet wide instead of 6 feet wide and I want it to be a certain distance from the corner. So I, maybe I'll zoom in a little bit and I'll say that I'd like to make this guideline or this distance a certain amount from this corner. And let's say that it's going to be 5 feet away. So I type in 5, enter, and then hit enter again. And that basically starts the process of putting in the window. I can choose which side of the 5 foot mark I'd like it to be. So I'll check that these dimensions really are giving me the distance that I thought I was putting in. So I'll switch to the dimension tool and I'll go from one end of the wall to the other. So that sets the angle that I'm uh, measuring. And then I'll say I'm measuring from the center of this window to the center of that window. And then perhaps from the corner of this window to that corner to make sure that these are all showing properly. I'll double click and now when I'm putting this in, I will need to make sure that um, the dimension tool is set to allow angular dimensions, in other words, not just on the axis, and then I can go and line this up uh, here. And let's just zoom in on this area and we'll just check that uh, I got what I expected. So here's the 12 feet that I typed in and the 5 feet distance. So using the create guideline segment was a very quick way to get uh, these elements placed a certain specific distance from each other. Now there are additional features of guidelines in ARCHICAD 15 that are very powerful. I suggest that you watch the tutorial videos that Graphisoft has prepared on YouTube or on the Graphisoft website. Uh, one of my favorite features is the fact that guidelines show up in the 3D window so you can use them for snapping and alignment and measurement in 3D. Uh, in addition, uh, you can actually create guidelines, for example, like this, and then move them so if I press down on the guideline, I can actually grab this orange ball and move it into a new position. I can also grab this orange ball and press or release uh, the Option or Control key to get a copy and drag it perhaps into another position here. Now, one frustrating thing at first was that when you hit the Escape key, uh, it doesn't get rid of the guideline. So I'm hitting the Escape key several times. To get rid of the guidelines, you uh, simply go right-click and say Remove All Guidelines or use the keyboard shortcut. In this case, you'll have to customize it for the Mac because it's using that funny section marker key, but you can simply just right-click and say Remove All Guidelines, and that will get you a fresh start. You can also actually, um, if you do have a guideline, you can remove an individual one by pressing down on it and saying Remove Guideline. That'll remove just that one, allowing the other ones to stay available. So this concludes the tutorial on guidelines in ARCHICAD 15. The uh, section on creating guideline segments applies to actually to all versions of ARCHICAD from 10 uh, on up, but the ones with the orange ball and the force guideline display are a part of the new tools uh, that you need to become familiar with in ARCHICAD 15. So this is Eric Babro. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. I look forward to getting your feedback Please drop me a line, send me an email, or place a comment on uh, this page. Thanks for watching.